uh, in this video we are going to discuss how to disable Windows 10 from automatically installing Realtek drivers. Previously one would choose the settings to upgrade Windows and device drivers. However, after the release of Windows 10 most updates are forced on your system. Apart from the Windows build updates and forced hotfixes, Windows 10 now updates your device drivers in order to keep your system working at the highest efficiency. This is because Microsoft noticed that most problems on Windows 10 were caused by bad or outdated drivers. This has brought to the problem of installing driver applications to manage the driver option. One such complaint is the updating of Realtek audio drivers which then installs the application to manage it. This application might not function properly on some systems. On 10forums.com, I use a complaint that I don't want the Realtek audio drivers at it completely messes with my audio and also doesn't correctly switch when I plug in headphones for example. It also doesn't allow me for the speaker fail enhancement to be used when playing stereo content through surround sound. Windows itself does a far better job as opposed to Realtek. Every time I uninstall Realtek, it automatically get reinstalled. Sorry Microsoft, you don't know the best. There have been there have also been several complaints from real Reddit users. Realtek drivers are sound drivers for your PC. The Realtek audio manager is supplied by Realtek and it also and it allows you to manage your connection and improve sound stability and sound quality. Your motherboard may have an onboard sound built into it because of which you have the Realtek audio manager installed on your computer. However, it looks like Realtek Audio Manager doesn't seem to work very well on Windows 10, thus generating a lot of complaints. It seems that every time Windows finds that your Realtek drivers are not up to date, it updates them and gives you Realtek Audio Manager application. Uninstalling the application from the uninstaller will just create a loop because doing that also uninstalls the latest sound drivers. For some people, the Realtek Sound Manager can be annoying and not actually work for them. If it is unappealing to you, in this video, we'll show you how to get rid of it and still have your sound card working. Our first method is to prevent automatic installation. Reinstall Windows manually and change the bitrate settings. Now, let's go to Control Panel. From here go to system and security, from system and security we need to go to the system, in the system click on advanced system settings, from here go to hardware and from here click on device installation settings, choose the option no, your device might not work as expected option and click on save changes. The setting is to prevent Windows from automatically downloading device drivers. Now click on OK and close all the windows. Press Windows and R key. Type devmgmt.msc. From here click on Realtek drivers. click disable once done once done repeat the same process to open device manager expand sound video and game controller right click on the real tech device driver and click on update driver a dialog will appear asking you to search automatically for updated driver or browse your computer for the driver software. Click choose from a list. Select let me pick from a list of available computer drivers. Select the Microsoft driver and click on OK. You will be given a warning about compatibility, ignore it and install the driver. Once you are done, restart your computer 
and you sh should see in Windows title bar that it is using the high definition audio device. Right click on the speaker icon, then click on playback devices, select speakers, click on properties, go to advanced tab and change the sample rate and bit depth to the highest possible on your system. Our next method is to uninstall Realtek Audio Manager, install new drivers, and deny the system the permission through the Realtek system. This method will reinstall the drivers back to, to the drivers that were, that were installed before Realtek Audio Manager was installed on your PC. On every restart reboot, Windows would try to install the driver, but fail because folder access was denied. It will instead reinstall the Microsoft driver and continue with the boot. This information can be seen from the email log. This might slightly extend the boot time. To start with, press Windows in R key, type appwiz.cpl. From program and feature, double click on your Realtek, uh, Realtek Audio Manager and click on Uninstall Program. This will un also uninstall the sound drivers. So we'll need to reinstall them. Once you have uninstalled the Realtek HD Audio Manager, from the run command, type dev devmgmt.msc. Right click the sound video and game controller. For Realtek HD Audio device, right click on it and click on update driver. Select browse my computer for driver software and then click the let me pick from a list of available drivers. From here, select Microsoft driver, high definition audio device, and click on OK. You will get a warning about compa compatibility and you can ignore it. After completing the installation, browse to the location, C, C, program files. From here, Realtek Audio HDA, right click on any empty area and click on property. From here, go to security tab and click on edit. Select system and in the permission settings, click on deny. Once it is done, click OK and then restart your computer. Once this is done, it won't be able to reinstall Realtek Audio Manager on your computer, but it might increase your boot time with a minor difference. Our third method is to roll back drivers. Rolling back your driver will install the driver that you were using before the Realtek Audio Manager got installed. Go to Device Manager by Pressing Windows and R key, type devmgmt.msc and click OK. Right click on your Realtek Audio device under Sound Video and Game Controllers. Right click on Realtek Audio device under Sound Video and Game Controller. Click Properties. Go to Driver tab and click on Rollback Driver. Once this is done, Windows 10 will remember the action and will no longer try to reinstall the driver. Restart your computer and check if your problem is resolved. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.